This pattern is called the Dark Blower and it's number 9 within Pritt's book. The dressing uses a body of dark claret silk which is this colour here. Unfortunately now it's becoming very hard to get this particular shade but hopefully this will give you an idea of what you're looking for. To start your fly Trap in your tying silk directly behind the eye of the hook. Then, using the tag end of silk as a guide, slowly in tight touching turns, bring your silk down the hook shack. A good tip here is if you see the, the hook shank slowly rotate as you wrap the silk, it's a good indication that you've got a good equal thread tension. Once you come to a point opposite the point of the hook, trim off that tag end of silk. Now come with your silk again and bring the silk down the hook shank a little bit more to a point somewhere between the point of the hook and the end of the barb. Again, now in tight touching turns, bring your silk back up the hook shank to a point where you're going to tie in the wings and the hackle. I like to mount the hackle and the wings in roughly about six or seven wraps behind the eye of the hook. Now, contrary to how we would dress dry flies and modern wet flies, what we're going to do is we're going to tie in the hackle first. And for the hackle, I'm using a very fine black end hackle. You don't have to tie it in by the tip, just tie it in by the butt section. Come in with your silk, take three, four nice tight wraps trap that stalk in. Then bring your silk back to the point where the hackle stalk begins. Now for the wings, Pritt states starling quill and these here are starling primary quill. Now for my part I like to put both quills together with the concave face pointing inwards. And then I like to cut off a strip of both quills at the same time. It's important here to cut off quite a wide section of quill. Then come with your bodkin and slowly strip away the excess parts of the quill from both ends. Once you're happy with the width of the quill and it's equal, you can simply mount it onto the hook. Now I like to I like to dress my North Country winged flies with a quill sloping upwards. Position your quills just so they're touching the top of the hook shank and then come in with one nice firm wrap of silk. And now slowly bind those quills down with the silk coming forwards towards the eye. Take your scissors and trim off any waste end. Now to get that quill in a more upright position, we pull the quill forward and we actually use the hen hackle to pop it up. And simply take one 
or two nice turns of hackle behind those quills. And again, come to the front and another couple of turns of hackle. Once you're happy with the overall density of the fly, come in with your silk, trap down that hackle stalk with two nice firm wraps. Take your scissors and trim off the waist quill. If you need to tidy up at the eye of the hook, simply just take your scissors, cut off any stray ends. Now, with your whip finish tool, come tight in in front of that hackle and give yourself a nice two or three turn whip finish. Once you're happy with the whip finish, take your scissors and trim off the end. And there you have the dark blower. Thank you.